Assalamualaikum my dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic here we will discuss today it is oxidation and reduction in terms of loss or gain of electrons so in the previous lesson we have already learned about the oxidation as well as the reduction that was in terms of loss or gain of hydrogen and oxygen but we will here learned about the loss or gain of the electrons now question arises why there is a requirement for the oxidation and reduction in terms of loss or gain of electrons so the simple answer is this a lot of chemical reactions we have in which there is no loss or gain of the hydrogen and oxygen so how we can be able to identify that whether which element is undergoing oxidation and which one is going reduction for example here we have the reaction of sodium plus chlorine and it combines it changes into the sodium chloride now here there is no oxygen and hydrogen present on the reactant and the product side then how we will be able to learn which one undergoing oxidation and reduction so to resolve this re problem the scientists just do work over the loss or gain of the electrons because every chemical reaction we have it involves the loss or gain of electrons and the transfer of the electrons so the first one is oxidation in terms of loss or gain of the electrons let's have a look on its definition basically oxidation so the oxidation by definition we have it is the loss of electrons in an atom ion or the atoms in the molecule during a chemical reaction if we have a chemical reaction and there are the atoms or the molecules that are going to lose the electrons then in turn they will have the process of oxidation so simple the process of loss of electrons by the atoms of an element in any chemical reaction it is known as the simple oxidation process on the other hand when we talk about the oxidation number it just increases when any atom is undergoing the process of oxidation so an increase in the oxidation state of an atom just takes place when there is a process of oxidation here we have an example in which the sodium is going to react with the chlorine and it is changes into the ions as sodium positive and chlorine negative now how we will be able to identify that which one is undergoing oxidation so if we talk about the metals that are from the periodic table group 1 group 2 and group 3a these metals have the properties to lose the electrons and when they lose the electrons they are undergoing the process of oxidation and here we have the metal which is sodium from group 1a it has just one electron in its valence shell when it is going to lose that electron from the valence shell it changes into the cation and carries the charge positive so here the sodium loses the electron so it undergoes the process of oxidation on the other hand if we have the group 2 elements like magnesium it loses two electrons from its valence shell and carries the charge magnesium plus 2 and undergoes the process of oxidation by losing two electrons from its valence shell so this was a simple overview about the oxidation process then we have real life examples of the oxidation process if we have an apple and we just start to cut it out and we just kept it in the open environment for some time after some time we just have a look that it started to change its color from white or off white to brown or dark brown it's mean here the process of oxidation takes place because that apple is having then iron and when this iron just reacts with the atmospheric oxygen that is present in the air it changes into the iron oxide and that iron oxide product is having dark color or the dark brown color on the other hand the second example of the oxidation from real life we have it is the process of rusting of iron when we keep an iron product or any iron item in the environment and it may have the contact with the air plus there is also the moisture present then there is the rusting of the iron started and it just becomes the porous layer and it, after some time it started to flakes away from the surface and the new surface just 
came in contact with the environment so the resting of the iron and the oxidation process of an apple in which its color is changes this is the simple example of the oxidation from our daily life after the process of oxidation we have the second type type which is known as reduction so a reduction it is the reaction in which an element just gains one or more electrons this is known as the reduction so simple the process of gain of electrons it is known as reduction and when there is a process of reduction there is just the oxidation number decreases so decrease in the oxidation number takes place when there is a reduction process a simple example here we have an atom in which the atom a and b so here the a is just going to lose electrons and atom b just gains that electrons and carries the negative charge so that atom b has gains the electron so it undergoes the process of reduction in this process and that atom a has it has lost the electron so it undergoes the process of oxidation and after the oxidation the atoms just gain the positive charge and after the reduction the atoms gain the negative charge this is the simple reduction process but when we talk about oxidation plus reduction this is known as the redox reaction redox reaction is oxidation plus reduction process and if we have an element that is going to lose the electrons it undergoes oxidation as the compound a loses the electrons and changes into the new product which is a on the other hand we have the b reactant which just gains the electrons and changes into the new product which is b and it get reduced by the a so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in a comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the oxidation state and its rule to assign for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day